Hi, I'm Andy, and this is the problem we have. I'm going to try to show you how we can solve this using the bar model. Um, so the problem is, Sam had five times as many marbles as Tom. If Sam gives 26 marbles to Tom, the two friends will have exactly the same amount. How many marbles do they have all together? So as I'm sure you can imagine, this is a typical word problem that children might run into. Uh, you'll find lots of these types of problems in our books. This one looks like it's be appropriate for uh, the teaching of ratio in year six. Uh, so in our year six B books, you would find lots of questions like this one. Um, so what I thought I would do is try to show you how the bar model can be used. Now, bar model is not the only way to solve this type of problem, but it happens to be a particularly good way to solve problems like this one. So what would children do to start off with? Well, the first thing we'd hope that they'd notice is that they can draw some information from what they've got here. So we've got two people in our story. One of them is called Sam, and the other one is called Tom. And Sam and Tom both have some marbles. And we can see that in the problem. It says that Sam has five times as many marbles as Tom. So we could represent that in our problem simply by drawing a series of bars. So if I use this uh, uh, here to represent the quantity that Tom has, like this, right? Um, then for Sam, what I need to do is I need to draw five of these bars at the same size because he has five times as many. So hopefully all of you will see that that's quite an easy way to visualize the problem. So this is a before and after problem. So this is the before situation. So Sam starts off with five times as many as Tom. Now the other thing that we know in our problem is, is that um, the two boys uh, end up with the same amount, right? Um, and that Sam gives 26 marbles to Tom. So let's go and color these up because I think I have a feeling that this is going to help us out. So I'm going to color Sam's over here in yellow, Let's see if I can get this to work. Yeah, there we go. So these are Sam's, right? And they're all yellow, okay. And he's got five times as many as Tom, which I'm going to color in this pink color here. This is our current situation. Now something happens. Sam gives some of his marbles to Tom, and uh, we know how many, 26. And when he does that, both of them will end up with the same amount. Now, if we look here, we can see quite clearly that if Sam, and this is where the aha moment is for most pupils, is when they recognize that if Sam gives these two bars here to Tom, right, they will end up with the same amount. So if I just go back here and draw two more bars over here for Tom, so these are going to be... Um, these are going to be quantities of marbles that Tom receives from Sam, right? There's two, right? And we can hopefully, what we can recognize is there's a before and after situation. So I'm going to draw a line here, right, to, to show the two. So when Sam gives two of his over here to Tom, they will end up with the same amount, right? I hope that makes sense. Now, what's the other thing that we know? We know how many Sam gave to Tom. Right? So Sam gave 26 marbles to Tom. So this amount of marbles here right, is 26. Okay, so we haven't even looked at the question yet. We've just looked at the facts that we've been given. So you see at this point here, I hope that most children will recognize that if they know that two of these rectangles equals 26, then one of these rectangles must equal how much? 13, because each one of these bars, of course, is uh, the same size as the other. So if these two are 13, then all the bars have a value of 13. And to look at our question now, how many marbles do they have all together? You can see that the, the problem is quite straightforward to solve here. It's a very basic calculation. 13 times 6 will give us the answer. Um, hopefully, at this stage, children will not have to do it in the long multiplication uh, but will be able to do this in their heads uh, and may even write it this way, right? Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, now, the other thing I want to just very quickly talk about is what happens when children are struggling with these types of word problems. Well, what I hope you notice is that the mathematics here, in this case, 
this calculation over here is fairly straightforward. And that's done on purpose. We don't want to burden the children with really tedious computation at this stage. We want them to read the problem and try to make sense of it. Some children will naturally struggle with this. So what are some of the things that you might be able to do to help children? Well, often when children struggle with problems like this, the types of things that they'll struggle with is the amount of details that they have to deal with. So in this case here, we've got lots of things happening. We've got numbers all sorts of things. So some children will see numbers and want to start thinking about what they can do with those numbers right away. Uh, of course, five times 26 or five plus 26 or any of these types of calculations aren't really gonna help you. What we want children to do is read the problem and try to make sense of it. One of the strategies that you might take on board if you have children who are struggling is you might wanna simplify um, the problem a little bit for them. So what you might do is when you first present it to them, and, or when you read it to them, what you might do is just simplify the problem and say, Sam had more marbles than Tom. Okay, so obviously this says as, but you might want to just change that to than in this instance. If Sam gives, again, 26 marbles, we could just erase that and replace 26 with some. right? Uh, the two friends will have exactly the same amount. So you see, by simplifying the problem this way, we're allowing children to visualize what's going on before they jump into any calculations. And that's really the point here. So if we said to someone, Sam had more marbles than Tom, and if Sam gives some marbles to Tom, the two friends will have ex exactly the same amount, most children will be able to understand that problem. Uh, and only, once they've understood the problem, you can start breaking it down a little bit more by adding um, the details in there. So for example, in this case, we know that it is five times. Sam had five times as many. Five times as many. And again, we can replace the sum once the children have understood the question with 26, and that should help them penetrate this problem. I hope you found that helpful.